Welcome back. So uh, in this lesson, I want to add a new button here. I want to add something called the add button, and then I want to be able to click that button, be redirected into um, into another view, and it's going to be called the create view. And here, all I want to do is pretty much just to be able to click to go back to where we were. So that's kind of the goal of this lesson: just getting the the UI up and running. Nothing. Uh, we're not going to make any functionality this time, but uh, we're just going to get the UI up and running, and we're going to use pure HTML still. Don't worry, later we'll use HTML helper to make this simpler, but right now it's just going to be pure um, HTML that we'll write, just to get you guys going on HTML. So what did I do? Let's shut this down, because I want to show you a few things that I changed. One is, I got this uh, beautiful href right here, and let me just add another one, just to show you, href here as well, and let's just... Uh, da, 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 da. So sorry about that. There we go. So inside the person control, I added a new action method. I added a new action method called create. Now the goal with this action method is pretty much just to show you a page where you can type in some data to create. So it's going to be a get request and it's going to return right now an empty view. So uh, the way I created this was very simple. Let's just do it together. Uh, let's delete all of this. You go in first of all, and of course you, you, you specify this function to be uh, public and it's going to be an action method with an action result and uh, we're going to call it create nothing else it's just going to be pure parentheses here and then it's going to return a new view again it's it's very very simple that's how you're going to make your your actions when you do them manually which we are doing right now when you have a view ready you'll right click it and then you'll say add the view and then you'll just accept the default settings here and say add and now you have your view it'll pop up here there's nothing in there very simple i'll save that and um, then we are pretty much done with the controller now we have an access point inside our controller that we can now say person slash create and get this view back so that's kind of what i want this index to do so if i save this i can now click the add button and i will be sent to another view called create right the view doesn't do anything but present some html to me now in the create, I also want an action button because I want to be sent back. Whenever I get to this view, I want to be able to be sent back to the index page again. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Just slash person slash index to get back to where I was. Let's uh, run this and see if that part actually works. And while we do it, let's talk a bit about prettifying our components because right now these are just going to be blue ugly links. I want to use Bootstrap to actually make them shine a bit so they look more like this. This is a cool button. Look at that. That's Oh, it's pretty. I like the pretty button. So what I want to do is I want to add so that these button, my buttons look more like this. I want the back button to be a default and the success button. That's how I want my uh, add button to look. So let's, I'm just going to grab the class. That's how you do it with Bootstrap. So they, they defined a lot of classes for you, a lot of CSS for you. All you have to do is pretty much just define, well, I have a button here or link and I want it to look like this. I want it to look like a button. That's how you get the square. And then I want button success because I want it green right now. So I'll copy this and all I have to do is pretty much just paste it in here in the add button. And now when I do the refresh soon, it'll actually pop up green. But let's see what we've got until now. Let's go into the page. Right here you'll see it's still loading. Uh, let's go back to the, to the page here and see here's the add button. It looks kind of boring, right? It's, it's kind of ugly. So now I added the CSS so that it's button and button success. Let me refresh the page and now you'll see it changes. It changed into something pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's do the refresh. Did I do it the wrong place? Did I do it the wrong place? Oh yeah, I did. So this is actually go back, not the add button. And I want that to be default. There we go. Let's uh, copy this so that it's in both places. I'm copying it going to the index page and then I'm also adding this but now I'm going to say success like this and then let's refresh and see if that helped me make a prettier button Dee -dee -dee. that by, by the way that's my uh, oh my god this is exciting music let's see what it actually does and there the button is now it's green and if I press it I'll go to the go back button which is a default color so now you can actually go back and forth here between the two views. Next, we'll start doing some proper things with it. But now you know about how you can actually style your buttons to make them more pretty and then how you can also add in a button actually. See you next time.